Just a quick update on that Game Boy Advance flashcard and USB programmer that I'd been looking for the software for. And I'm happy to say I've now got it all up and running. So huge thanks to everyone that took the time to leave comments and suggest where I could find some compatible software, left links and so on and so forth. As a result, I've now got this thing up and running exactly how it should. So really appreciate everyone taking the time to do that. Uh, so what I thought I'd do here is just give you a quick demonstration of the device in action. I've got it all hooked up to the little laptop here and I've got my SP and the charger ready to go. And I thought I could dump a couple of the games I've got. So this is a well, this is my copy of F Zero. This is the the Japanese version of the game. And I've also got some Contra. So I thought I could dump these and then flash them onto the the flash card and show you how this thing actually works. So this is hooked up, ready to go. And the software I'm using is GB Writer, which is a really useful program. And the first thing I'll do here is just pop the cartridge into the, the reader. So I'll try and do this one handed, like so. And if you look back at the software here, I'll leave a link to this program in the description if you're looking for it yourself. But as you can see, it now shows as F0. And it's got some other details about the cartridge. So it's like a, a 4 megabyte uh, ROM, uh, 32 megabit. Gives you some more details there. You can back up your save file as well, which is really handy. You've got the different types of save file here. And at the top, you've got some options. You can re read the save, read the game, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is just dump this game. Uh, so if we go to read game, I just need to name this F0. Apologies for the shaky camera here. I'm just doing this uh, kind of ad hoc. So when it's now dumping the game, you can see down the bottom it's doing its thing. And if you look over at the programmer, that might not come across on camera, but that's flashing away. So I'll just edit this bit out, and what's already done, don't need to. So that's the first game already dumped, and if I just pop this out here, we can put in the copy of Contra. Like so. You look over here, you can see it's come up on the screen. So again, we'll read this game. Just need to name it. Contra. And this is another 4 megabyte game, so it shouldn't take too long. Probably won't have to edit this out, but once this is dumped, I'll pop in the, the flash card here. And then we can upload the, the two ROMs onto this. So you can upload more than one ROM at a time to this, which is kind of handy. Uh, it's not the biggest memory in the world. It's 128 megabits. That will probably hold about two, maybe four small games at a time. Uh, but there we go, that one that was finished now. So I'll just pop this out of here. my copy of Contra out and we'll put the flash card in. The really cool thing is you can you can back up your own games and you can play them on an emulator on the, the PC. I'll show you that in a minute as well. But the coolest thing is being able to dump your save files and uh, well, you could back them up onto your PC but you could also download other people's save games from the, the internet and upload them to your uh, your game which is kind of handy for, I suppose, if you're into Pokemon or that sort of thing, that would be useful for that. So right now I've got the flashcard in the uh, the device, and obviously it doesn't say that there's a game or anything in there, because it's just a blank card. I've already erased it, and I'll select some games that I want to put in there. So I want to put the Contra that I just dumped on there. That'll come up, and I also want to put F0 on there as well. Just like that, so they're both now showing up on the, the screen. And what I can now do is hit to write the game to the, the card, and it'll start doing that. And it'll show you down there that it's writing it to the memory. You can see that's flashing away. So I'll just edit this bit out because this might take a, a couple of minutes. 
That's it now finished uploading those games to the cartridge. So we'll just pop this out of here and we can test it out. So we'll take it over to the SP, plug it in there, pop that out of the charger, and I'll try and do this one handed. Um, fire this up. So we've got the Nintendo logo, and we should get a little menu screen. Uh, here we go. So we've got Contra or F0. Let's try F0. And there we go, Nintendo, and, con and Contra F-Zero starts up. So let's just try some quick gameplay here, sound should work as well. There we go. So it all works great. And so far, I've only found one game that doesn't work so well, and that's Iridian 2. But I think that's maybe just because the, the game really pushes the, the hardware to the limit. Um, for the most part, it works fine uh, with that game anyway. Uh, it's only when there's tons and tons of stuff going on on screen at the same time that it, it seems to just freeze the, the game up. But everything else I've tried seems to work flawlessly. Uh, I can't really play this one-handed, but... Yeah, you get the idea. So I could either choose to play F0 or Contra there, the little uh, menu screen at the start. But the other cool thing you can do is dump your own games, and if you want, you could use something like Virtual, what is it called? Virtual Boy Advance, which is the GBA emulator for PC. So if we go here, we can open up one of those files that I dumped. So we'll try Contra. And Open. And as you can see, it works. You can play the, uh, the legitimate games that you've uh, downloaded or backed up, I suppose. So yeah, just wanted to make a quick update on the, the uh, USB flasher and flash cart there. And huge thanks again to everyone that posted comments and that's going to be loud. Posted comments and tried to help out basically. I really appreciate it. it, means I've now got this thing up and running, and yeah, it's a, a really cool little device to have. So there you go, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.